Hello, Battleborn. We are back in the dojo for some more training with uh, legendary lore items, and this one particularly is Miko. So Miko's legendary lore item is a is a healing item. So that I thought maybe this would be difficult to try in the dojo, but actually it's not uh, because I could always hurt myself. I don't. This one doesn't necessarily apply healing to allies, so you can't see the numbers very easily. But what you can see is because his his healing does apply this this legendary lore item applies a spike heal. I can I can you can see my bar move at least that'll that, that you can see that. So what's what's going on here at the spores of uh, Miko Lapria is that uh, that you get a little heal power and a movement speed. That's great. But whenever your kunai, which is your you know your your actual knives here, your kunai, the bleed on the, the that kunai. That damage dealt applies to my next healing pulse. Okay. Oh, maybe we won't be able to do this. I might need a minion to heal. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and I may not be able to do this because um, there's nothing for me to heal. Normally, uh, when you when you take when you take damage, if you are Miko, you can uh, you can heal thyself. Is going to say, hey, if I heal you with a beam. If I heal you with a beam, then I'm going to heal myself. Um, I, there's nobody to heal, so I can't heal myself with uh, with with the item. Um, interesting. Well, I wonder what happens if, if it considers this solo play or not. We're still going to give it a shot, but anyways, there's a, it's going to get a shot. There may not be a way to do it, but normally what happens is when you have heal yourself up and you pop biosynth, as long as you have biosynth up on your first tick. You apply that Miko's Miko's heal, not just to your target, but also to yourself. So that's the big deal. So you would have to bio, then beam, and that first tick of that beam will heal yourself and your target. Okay. Normally, I mean, if you press your, if you keep your bio up, you want to keep your bio up, and then you, sorry, you keep your beam up, and then you pop bio because you're already connected. You don't waste that extra time, which is an, another tick or so. Right, just to calibrate and get the beam up, but in this case, we're gonna have to try it a little separate. So, uh, let me see. Let's do Rudy's cooldowns. Let's go ahead. Uh, this just doesn't matter at all. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, I want. I definitely want to spread the poison, right? Uh, so I want to go ahead and spread it to near my enemies, so I don't have to hit them all individually. And this doesn't matter either. Uh, I would love to do a beam. Maybe that'll be it stronger. And it doesn't matter. So, because um, we're solo, this is going to be hard to do. So, let's see. I don't have any allies to heal. All right, we're going to go ahead and take take this and take some damage. Again, this is on the kunai. So, I apply one shot. Watch. We'll all take poison damage, right? That was a little bit. That was 16 a tick for each one. Now, can I do anything? No, not a squat. Yeah, because there's nothing to heal. All right, not so fun. Okay, well, we won't be able to test this in the dojo, so I'll... But, yeah, I'll definitely have to do this some other way. Because I'm hitting them, hitting them, hitting them, hitting them. Right, all that poison damage. And a beam, bio, but there's nobody to heal, so I don't get to heal myself. Anyways, so... Uh, that's what that does, though. And I'm just letting you know that if you want to get the power heal... If you want to get a power heal with it, make sure that you do um, uh, Healer's Oath. And you also might want to get Plentiful Healing. I just did this other one because I did Evolutionary Emergence because I wanted to just to try and get my cooldowns reduced so we could, you don't have to wait so long during the video. But Plentiful Healing adds health per second to that beam, which again help, helps yourself. So if you um, are planning on using this one, that's useful. But it's not necessary, so um, because the tick comes from the uh, poison damage. However, I can't show you because I can't heal anybody. I can't show you. See all those ticks for 17? That's great, right? All that would be applied to my next heal. And it, as soon as I did my heal beam on somebody, they would get about a 450 heal. But if I have bio up and I popped it, we'd both get 450 heal. 
So that's what I wanted to be able to show, but you really can't do that here, and you'd have to run through a long match to do it with the right conditions. So, because they'd both have to have low health and all that other stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it at that. There's really not much else you can do with this other than cloud of spores. All right, so that is the spores of Miko Lapria. Um, you have to do some damage. The, the bleed is what um, is where the it's added to the pulse. Right, half of the damage from the bleed. So instead of those seventeens, you're going to get basically eight on each of them. Right, so eight health for each of those bleeds. And if you have that, so if I pop, pop one or two, but it spreads, so that's eight, eight, eight for each of those four. See, that's not bad. See how that's adding up. Even if I don't, even if I hit him once or twice because it's spreading, now I don't have to sit there and not being a healer here. Right, the deep this goes not really DPS. But that's how that works. So uh, you finish his lore, you're going to get spores of Mikopolpia, and then you'll be able to try it out for yourself. It's actually really good because otherwise Miko does not have a, a spike heal. But you have to have Biosynth. Uh, Biosynth is only necessary if you want to heal, thy, heal yourself or heal thyself, right? But it's not necessary for normal beams. So if you're actually DPSing and you switch to a beam, as soon as that beam lands, it will pop that spike heal on them. So it's pretty cool. It's a it's a really good way to um, have a spike heal, and then with that beam, um, you end up being a pretty pretty deadly healer. Yet you can still turn around and do a little DPS. You don't have to wait around for someone to get hurt. All right, uh, I'll catch you guys later. I hope you enjoyed it.